sure to please every season as a taste that pleases me. There are some that eat at night with their fancy foreign stews, and they whet their appetite with wea bases and ragouts. But the finest sauce you'll get is hard labor's honest sweat, and a pint of ale to follow, that's for me. There is cock a leaky cow heel, chitterlings and tripe, mutton broth and dumplings and puddings black and white. Pigs, brawn, rabbit pie washed down with barley brie, every season has its taste that pleases me. Well, I've come abroad. I've crossed the border into Cornwall. And uh, as I'm looking for food, you won't need a lot of imagination to know what I've come to look for in Cornwall. A pasty. And I've found a pasty. I've found a lady who can make them too. Now, I'll tell you, and I can't get them out of my cup. I'm sorry. Now, you're going to cuddle that in, see? And give it a titty. And you're cutting them out the size of a 5p. Or a shilling, as we used to call them. Now, you'd have your meat, and mine is about a handful, but it is... This is skirt beef. And... Uh, or you could use chuck steak, but you never use mince. And there we are, see, you need a cushion on them. Because there's nothing worse than having a bite of your pasty and then no beef in the corner. Well, there's something about a pasty. There's something about a pasty. There's something about a pasty that is fine, fine, fine. It may be the way you make it. It may be the way you make it. It may be the way you make it. It's on the line, fine, line. You can keep your fancy dishes. My one and only wishes to see those pasties marching out in line, line, line. When you taste that handsome crust, you could eat until you bust. There's something about a pasty that is fine, fine, fine. <laughs> lovely, lovely. <laughs> now then, about, oh, a child you were telling me about. Oh, yes, well, I was working in Cornish schools last week. And it was a little girl, she was ten years old. She brought me this lovely pasty. She said, there's no devil in it, Mrs. Wooden. You've heard the story about the devil, have you? No. Oh, well. He lives in Devon, you see. And uh, one day he fancied he liked living in Cornwall. So he crossed over the Tamar and he got by this little cottage with the windows wide open. Looked in through and there was a Cornish woman making a pasty with a big knife in her hand. And he started to laugh. What you got there, he said. She said, I got a Cornish pasty, my son, and if you hang about here, I shall chop you up and I shall put you in him. And the devil screeched, and he raced all the way back to Devon, and he's never been seen in Cornwall since, and that's a true story. Oh, I'll bet you. <laughs> How does it come about that the pasty is so specifically associated with Cornwall? Couldn't really tell you, my love, but it has been around a long time. Uh, Cornwall, of course, was very remote until the Industrial Revolution, and uh, I think that the original pasty just had what was around with whatever season was, you know, whatever vegetables. I mean, if you lived by the sea, you'd probably put erin or pilchard in a pasty. And uh, in the sort of autumn time, there'd be, you could make apple pasties. Traditionally today, I suppose, the pasty is the one that I've just made for you. And it's a very, very strict way of making them. But every family's got their different way of making them, you know. Mm. My own way is what my mother taught me, that she learned from her mother. Mm. And uh, it's uh, supposed to be a, a miner's dish. And, of course, we've been mining for 4,000 years here in Cornwall. Oh, it could be right. that the pasty had been around that long. Well, I couldn't the Romans believe. came here for, uh, for, for, for silver and copper. And for, and and for pasties, I've no doubt. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Right, this is it then, the big moment, eh? Right, moment yeah. of discovery, right? Yeah, no, life and fork. No, no. No, eat your pasty in your hand. Oh, the real, the real, That's the right. minus way. to bottom. Right. Yeah. Mm. By the time you finish that, your belly will be that tall you could crack a flavour on it. <laughs>